welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle and I'm here to help you on your health journey, whatever that may look like. Whether you're here to lose weight, find new recipes, or try to get healthier, I hope I can inspire you today. I've lost 100 pounds on WW and I just want to share some of my favorite zero point snack ideas. First, I didn't have any mango, frozen mango right now, we've eaten it all, but I could use this frozen fruit instead. Frozen fruit is so yummy, we just specifically love mango. Something I do that's new in the last year is I will take frozen mango, just put it in a bowl and add some cayenne pepper. It is so good. You get that sweet from the mango and then the spice from the cayenne and it, it does not feel like it should be zero points. It keeps me satisfied, it gives that sweet flavor. It just satisfies me so much. Let me know below if you try it, because I think you'd really like it. If you're not into spice, the next one I really like are frozen grapes with sugar-free jello. What I'll do is I'll wash the grapes, leave a little bit of the water on, put this jello, sprinkle it over it, mix it up really good, put it in the freezer. And then I wait until they're almost frozen. You can also eat them when they're completely frozen, but it's nice when they're like halfway frozen so that they still have some of that juice left. Super yummy, a nice sweet. And I oftentimes will put it in the freezer when I make supper. And then after the kids go to bed, I have a delicious snack. Probably my most used zero point food is popcorn. If you use an ear popper, it's zero points. And then they have tons of different flavorings. I use this spray butter. It's I can't believe it's not butter spray. Zero points. And then you can just put flavorings on top. I have churro, kettle corn. I have sour cream in the pantry. There's so many different flavors, which I didn't know. And all of this is zero points. So at night when you're watching a movie, you can join in with your kids and have popcorn for zero points. It's kind of crazy. This is by far my most used zero point item. The next one may seem obvious, but I love fruits and vegetables for zero points. So I'll get these mini sweet peppers and just snack on them. And then I always make sure I have berries around. So today I have strawberries and raspberries and then also cucumbers. These are super nice for snacking when I just feel like I need something to keep me, because I just feel like eating, but I'm not necessarily hungry. You can also use this light Olive Garden. If you use half a tablespoon, it's still zero points. And you can flavor it. It's surprising how far half a tablespoon will go, especially on cucumbers. You just need a teeny bit in order to get a ton of flavor. So this is a really nice snack option. Along with fruit, you can add the fruit to 0% fat yogurt and 0% fat cottage cheese. That keeps it all zero points. I didn't realize that these were zero points initially and they're so high in protein. You add a little bit of fruit and it is the best snack. So if you're gonna have a higher dinner tonight, it's nice to keep things lower points. And so these will help you eat them as a meal if you need to, but I definitely recommend for a snack. Another snack that I really like is I will slice these mini cucumbers. You can do any kind of cucumbers, but I use these and I'll just slice them like that. And then I'll put 0% fat cottage cheese on top, kind of like a little boat. And then I'll do the everything but bagel seasoning. And it looks like this. And it's such a yummy snack and zero points. So good. Super nice to keep you satisfied if you need that sweet flavor. Sometimes I'll put some berries in here, but oftentimes I'll just have this on sweet applesauce. Last but not least, because this is probably one of my favorite snacks, hard boiled eggs. I'll bring them anywhere. I'll just unpeel them. I'll just unpeel them, put in a, put, oh my gosh. I'll just unpeel them and put them in a baggie and I can just carry them with me. So if we're going to the zoo, if I know I'm gonna have a busy day at work, I can just pull one out, put some salt on it or any kind of flavoring, and I have them available. Keeping your snacks high in protein is gonna help you stay full longer and keep you less likely to binge later. I really love hard boiled eggs, if you haven't gathered. <laughs> Another zero point snack I really like if I'm needing something sweet is this unsweet applesauce. 
super nice to keep you satisfied if you need that sweet flavor. Sometimes I'll put some berries in here, but oftentimes I'll just have this on sweet applesauce. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope I was able to give you some inspiration in your health journey. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you could, would you subscribe to this channel and like this video? That helps it reach others to help them on their health journey as well. Have a good day. Bye.